Yeah, the RBA is in a really hard position because they identified that we were in a heated property market, but you also had a slowing economy. So they really couldn't come out and talk about interest rates going down while there was a hot property market and while there was macro prudential limits in place too. So they, they really had to stay their course and say interest rates next move is likely up to jawbone and to get property prices down. So I think they were in a really tough spot. They identified some weakness in the economy, but they really couldn't move because of the asset price property bubble that we were in. Um, so they were in a really tough spot. So they get a lot of criticism around being too late to the party to move, but they were in a real bind where they couldn't move at the risk of stoking more excess in the property market. Potentially Australia could enter a recession around a slong in credit growth and the credit growth is the main driver of consumption, um, wealth effects. So for me there's a real risk around a slowing Australian economy coupled with a slowing global growth environment which was happening at the back end of last year which will flow through the Australian economy over the next couple of quarters. So for me there's a, there's, there's a chance of a technical recession for Australia. I don't think it will be a deep one but it will be driven predominantly by slowing credit and consumption um, of the bank back of the banks. Yeah, for Australia, the key factor to avoid a recession would be around China. So China have been stimulating, uh, we're seeing their PMIs pick up. The PMIs which will pick up will flow through to Europe, throw, flow through to the rest of the world. So again, China could come to Australia's saviour again and save us from a recession.